It's Wednesday evening at Wacken, the world's largest heavy metal festival. The opening act is a band made up of local firefighters, just like every year. A hundred and twenty bands are scheduled to play during the four-day festival, including top acts like Rammstein, Alice Cooper, and Motorhead. The crowd is estimated at eighty thousand, including many music fans from other countries. Wacken has achieved cult status among many metal fans. Wacken! The Wacken Open Air Festival takes place every August in northern Germany. Suddenly, this otherwise quiet village is taken over by metal fans. The atmosphere is unique. All these people have the same interests, and they all get along fine. It's great that the people are so laid back despite the dense crowds. The atmosphere is great. Everybody's cool. You can hang out wherever you want. Metal isn't just music, it's also a kind of culture. It brings together people from all over the world. You get that here. Thomas Jensen is the Wacken Festival's co-founder. He and a group of friends organized the first festival back in 1990. 800 people turned out. This year, it's 80,000. We started out organizing small rock music parties. Then we decided to hold an open-air festival. We had no idea what we were doing. In the early 90s, we couldn't have imagined it would turn into something of this magnitude. Tens of thousands of music fans have pitched their tents at the campground nearby. It's been raining, so the place is now a sea of mud. But that doesn't bother real metal fans. Lots of people showed up even before the festival actually began. This group from Freiburg has been here for several days already. It's basically just a huge party zone, and you can camp here. But people don't come here to camp or sleep because of the noise, both day and night. More civilized accommodations are available on board the MS Wacken, a hotel ship that's docked about four kilometers away on the Kiel Canal. Four nights on board plus festival tickets will cost you 749 euros. Michael Kluger, who owns a travel agency, came up with the idea for a floating metal hotel. This is the 24th Wacken Festival. Some of the people who started coming to the festival way back when are a little older now, and they expect more comfort. That includes Inge and Ralf Bühler, who've traveled here from southern Germany. They've been attending metal festivals for nearly two decades. They're both over 40 now, and they don't feel like sleeping in the mud at some campground anymore. So the MS Wacken is the perfect alternative. A few years ago, I'd have said, what the heck, let's bring a tent. But nowadays, we expect more out of life. After the show, you can have a shower, climb into bed and feel great. It's Wacken Open Air, day two. At the campsite, people are just crawling out of their sleeping bags, while the guests on board the MS Wacken are enjoying a breakfast buffet. But these metal fans, regardless of whether they've spent the night in a tent or on board a hotel ship, all have one thing in common. They love heavy metals. <laughs>